Today we're talking about Google Cloud Next. I'm Bacola and welcome to This Week in Cloud, where we serve you the lowest latency news. Google Cloud Next just happened and it was quite an event. Hundreds of speakers came from Google Cloud and our partners came together to talk about everything from Anthos to Zero Trust. Don't worry if you didn't get a chance to see it live. We have all the talks and interactive sessions available so you can catch up on all the exciting announcements. Here's a few of our favorites. Developing in the cloud should help you unlock new ways to work without locking you in. There is no shortage of conversation around Anthos, and there's plenty of new features to help you take advantage of all that cloud offers. Anthos for virtual machines lets you standardize on Kubernetes, even with virtual machine workloads, and the Anthos multi-cloud API will make it easier to manage GKE clusters running on other cloud providers. Good security comes from more than just the tools available. It's about the knowledge and best practices. The Google Cloud Cybersecurity Action Team gathers experts from across Google to guide you through security transformations and to make your business safer. Of course, we also have tools like data loss prevention built into BigQuery to identify sensitive data and expanding security command center with Chronicle integration. Dealing with data can also be a challenge. Driving business value can be difficult if your teams are blocked on how to collect or analyze data. Vertex AI is a centralized solution with integration across Dataproc, BigQuery, Dataplex, and Looker. Vertex AI Workbench offers a unified user experience for building and deploying ML models and serverless Spark on Google Cloud, lets you focus on what matters most to your applications and your data. Of course, we can't have the cloud without protecting the Earth. That's why we're excited to announce that Google is committing to running on carbon-free energy by 2030. We're also launching Carbon Footprint, which helps you measure, track, and report on your sustainability goals. Active Assist is also being updated with information on carbon impact for recommendations, and Earth Engine is coming to Google Cloud to bring you geospatial data at scale. Wow, that's a lot of announcements. If you want to read more or see a full list, check out the link. Any thoughts or ideas, leave us a comment or tweet us. We'll see you in the cloud.